What is up guys, Doc Redstone here. Today with a pretty cool video tutorial for you guys. Uh, it's something I haven't seen around before, but uh, doesn't mean I'm the first to find it. Um, it's a little glitch with uh, repeaters, and unfortunately it only works in the north-south direction. So that would be the direction that the clouds in Minecraft move. So anyway, as you can see here, I have a pretty normal looking mountain, nothing fancy. However, if I go ahead and just place a repeater there, you will see, there we go, that a door opens, and if you go back here and we look at the mechanics, oh, there's some dust here, you will see that there is a piston back here. So I'm going to go into my tutorial world, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Alright guys, so here we are in my tutorial world. And uh, this is my old tutorial world. I kind of missed it. Um, this is the world I used to use um, back before I got my new computer. For any of those of you who uh, noticed. So anyway, just wanted to say that. So basically, in the north-south direction, which is the direction that clouds move, uh, if you take a repeater and you place it next to anything powered. So we'll just go ahead, place down a torch. You can see it flashes for a tick. Uh, same thing with... And that's because, um, for some reason, the uh, game believes that the repeater was placed in the east-west direction, like so. And then it realizes, no, it was actually placed north-south, so there's no way it can be powered, and it will become unpowered, and only leaves about a tick pulse. So, if I come over here, uh, you can go ahead, and I got some powered, and actually, you could probably put this right there, make it a bit more concealed, like so. And if I place this here, you can see that the uh, piston retracts. And there it does it again, there it does it again, for just a tick. And the reason, like I said, is because when I place this here, the game considers the fact that maybe I placed it in the east-west direction, which causes this piece of sandstone right here to point towards the repeater. And because um, piston blocks only powered are powered if they're pointed at directly, um, the game thinks for a moment to retract it, but then realizes that no, the repeater is placed in the north-south direction, and so turns it back into a solid piece. And it happens so quickly that uh, you can't even see it change. However, um, that's how it happens, and so you can send quick one-tick pulses. Um, this is the setup that I had uh, to an extent, minus this part right here, in my uh, video that I just showed last time of me uh, using it in the cliffside. And so basically, this torch right here points with it uh, powers this bit of redstone, which points to this block. So this block is uh, now powered, hence why the torch is inverted. So, basically, I place this here, and the game for a moment thinks, oh, maybe this was placed in the east-west direction, or, yeah, east-west direction, and so it powers it, but then it realizes, no, it's placed in the north-south direction, and uh, makes only one tick. And because pistons need at least two ticks to operate at a decent speed, placing it down creates a simple RS nor which, like I used, uh, can power, whoops, why do I have a bunch of crafting tables here? can be used to power a piston. Uh, it can be used to power uh, or invert a torch, etc. So all you got to do is just place a repeater, and it will uh, change this RS nor, or maybe, t probably, yeah, RS nor. T flip flop, whatever you want to call it, uh, probably, eh, probably T flip flop, more like it. But that's how that works, and it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you want to have a secret hidden base that can only be accessed via repeaters, um, it's really cool. Uh, it's kind of like a repeater update detector, if you want to say it. Um, you can also place it. Nope, I haven't tested it on top of blocks yet. Oh, but it only makes sense because repeaters can't get power from a blow. But yeah, so it's a pretty cool thing. Like I showed before, it can be used for hidden 
hidden bases can be used to, uh, for a moment, invert a pulse and uh, whatnot. So anyway, guys, this has been Doc Redstone. Thanks for watching. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, guys. Peace.